Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and what I got for you today is a review of the new Flytech T13. Now, the Flytech T13, as you can probably see here, is a foldable drone. Now, you can fold and unfold to make it easy and, and uh, much more portable for you to carry with you. So that's, you know, it's very simple to just unfold these like so. So that's about it. Um, what's so special about it, though, is that it does have a 720p camera on the front that can be swiveled up or down. In my case, I'm going to put it up like this because I want to primarily use this as a selfie drone. Um, additionally, it has a port in the back for recording S. No, it looks like it's for recording S micro SD cards. I do have a micro SD card in there, but unfortunately, I was not able to record um, to the such card. Uh, the video is transmitted to your phone in 720p and recorded to your phone in 720p. Other this particular card slot appears to be an operative with the Wi-Fi version. I'm guessing they're going to be having a non-Wi-Fi version, a camera version uh, with a controller uh, in the future here that may uh, use this SD card slot. Um, one thing about it though, it does have a proprietary battery. As you can see here, it's a 3.7 volt, uh, 520 milliamp hour battery. But one good thing about it, it doesn't have a proprietary charger. If you look right there, we have a micro USB port. So you can use your phone charger, most phone chargers, to charge this particular camera. Now, I did a flight with this yesterday, and it was actually very easy to control with virtual joysticks. And there's an advantage to controlling with virtual joysticks in that you can actually see your FPV video while you're flying. Um, I attempted to fly it with uh, also in headless mode with the G sensors. It, it flew it, but the problem with G sensor control is you're always holding the phone in an awkward angle and you can't see the onboard video. So today's flight, I'm going to be flying this uh, with the virtual joysticks to demonstrate, you know, that virtual joystick flying. Uh, one other thing I noticed yesterday is that it had somewhat short range for the FPV uh, video before it would freeze. You'd get lag and you know, freeze up and lag about 15 to 20 meters. What I'm going to be doing today is first I'm going to do a flight to demonstrate that to show that, but there's something else I want to try today. And this is a Wi-Fi repeater, uh, amplifier, Wi-Fi repeater amplifier. These are very inexpensive. They run about seven to ten dollars on Banggood, on GearBest, just about anywhere if you look. Uh, what I'm going to do with today's uh, uh, flight is I'm going to use this Wi-Fi repeater, and this is my power source. You just use a power bank. Now I have this set up. The way this works is you use an app on your phone to link this Wi-Fi repeater with the quadcopter using the quadcopter's Wi-Fi signal as the router signal. Once you have this linked up with the quadcopter, you can throw away that app. You don't need that app anymore as this will remember the uh, signal from the quadcopter as being its router signal. So it receives that and then reamplifies, amplifies it and then resends it out to your phone. You use your phone, you link up your phone to this, not to the quadcopter, but you link up your phone to this signal and your phone goes through that to the quadcopter and the signal from the quadcopter comes backward to this to you. So in theory, it should increase the range and that's what I'm gonna to try to show today. And with that in mind, I'm going to use this power bank as its uh, power source. So hope you enjoy this flight of the T-13. Let's get into it. Okay, they're cutting grass over in the field over here. So I moved over here so I wouldn't uh, be interrupted. But here's the on off switch. Let's turn it on by holding the button down and we verify we got power by the lights. They're very bright, by the way. And then we're going to connect. We're going to fly first without the repeater. So I'm going to connect to the quadcopter first. So hold on. Okay, this is the Flytech app available on, well, actually, I think you had to download it from its site. But there's the view we get. And I'm hitting record. And also, I'm going to increase the rates to 60% for today. And I'm and Mob is in is recording. So let's start the motors with an automatic takeoff. And give it an increased throttle. And flying around. As you can see, they are cutting grass today. So, but looking, I can see myself in the video. And as you can see, I'm flying with the sticks, increasing the rate to 100. Now let me show you the problem though that I get is that we will get frozen video. Very smooth flyer by the way, even with the sticks. But we'll go out on and you'll see that eventually the video will freeze. I'll go up a little higher too. And I think the video is frozen. 
Well, it's, I got still got signal, somewhat a signal. Yeah, it's actually working good today. It wasn't working very well yesterday, but coming down, there is a breeze up there, reducing it, reducing throttle. And turn it around. But what I want to show is actually let's let's set it out even further until we lose signal. There I am again. Oh, you see that lag? You saw that lag there. <laughs> we get a lot of lag. But actually it is very easy to control with this fix. You can actually use it as a Follow me, quadcopter. I'm moving over here because the cutting grass is over there. But as you can see, it works quite well with the sticks. But we still get that lag. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to switch and turn on the router so that we can avoid that lag. Let's go over to that router and set it up. So hope you enjoy the remainder of the flight. And I'm going to move because you're cutting grass there. <laughs> So let's do an automatic landing. This does have automatic landing. Hitting the land button, which is that one, we'll land it right there. Okay, this time I am connected to the router, and the router is connected to the, uh, or, I'm sorry, connected to the repeater, Wi Fi repeater amplifier, and the amplifier is connected to the quadcopter. So opening the, um, make sure I'm recording. Let me hit recording on Flytech. Again, this is a Flytech app, and if I hit play, we should see signal still. And we do. Okay, so it actually works, folks. Uh, let me hit uh, stop, start recording. And again, let me go to 100% mode so I get better control. And we will, our recording there, recording with mob is in, we'll do a takeoff. And hopefully this will give us better, less lag video, hopefully. Take it to the air. Okay, and again, we're going to fly this just using the router. Am I showing up? Yeah, I am showing up. Let's go up this direction here. And I should get longer control range with this and smoother video signal, hopefully. So. You know, this is an idea, folks. This would work with just about all Wi-Fi FPV flyers doing such, doing it this way. You increase your range, you get uh, better control, um, hopefully less lag on the video. We'll find out here in post-production. But again, this Flytech T13 is smooth. Okay, mainly I want this for less lag on the video, and hopefully it is providing that. Nice smooth flyer, isn't it? Let's go back a bit. Let's try this following. Follow me. Okay, I want to go this way. <laughs> I'm manually flying this thing. Let's go up a little higher, too. So I do show up. Let's bring it in close so you can see it. Again, I'm in 100% rate right now. Flies exceptionally smooth. That's what I liked about this is it's one of the few that I could actually fly with a controller. I'm using my phone as the controller. Uh, most others, you know, they end up uh, real jerky and uncontrollable. I'm going to go to a lower rate here. Uh, 30, 60, that should be 60% right to smooth it out because that yaw is a little bit wild. So let's take a walk with this thing. Come with me with, for a walk. I see me there. <laughs> We're doing using follow me using the phone. I'm controlling it though. You know, this is an automatic follow me. This is, I'm looking at it. Um, the altitude hold on this is working quite well to maintain its position. Let's go the other way. Follow me this way. 
<laughs> and it's looking rather smooth. The signal. Slow you down. Let's go toward my wife over there. I'm flying it backwards now. All I'm doing is I'm manually flying this forward, backward, right, left. Not very hard with a little practice, but it works. It works rather well. Now, let's go get a video of the area to show. We'll send it up higher. Coming overhead first, and then increasing the throttle. And we'll do a pan of the area. Going up right about there, and then we'll pan. Pan right. It's a fast pan. Slow down that pan. And there's our famous um, Home Depot. <laughs> Look at those lights, though, how bright they are up here. Okay, they're flashing. Let's come down now. It's time to land. We have LVC warning. LVC warning, so bringing it down. And we're going to call it quits here. So. That is the flight of this thing. Let's land it. Just do an auto landing. Land ya. And stopping the video. And stopping my mobas in recording too. So that's the Flytech T13. Actually very smooth flyer with your phone. It actually works well. I'm using the uh, control, uh, you know, virtual, or virtual joystick controls on your phone. And again, and again, I demonstrated today that you can use these cheap Wi-Fi repeaters. They're very inexpensive to extend your range and reduce the lag. I'm hoping it reduces the lag. We'll find out here in post-production if the video lag is still laggy. But supposedly that thing has like a 300 meter range to it. I wasn't going to attempt to fly this thing 300 meters, but supposedly it does. So hope you enjoyed this flight, this Quadcopter 101. Signing out.